Hey guys, I want to talk about one thing real quick today, and that is about some posts that I've seen lately. I've had also people come into my gym and claim the same thing, and then there's also some big people out there that most of us probably know and have seen that call themselves professional fighters just because they've gone to Thailand and had a fight. So here's my pet peeve with that. You can go to Thailand and you can do professional fights. However, just because you do a match over there without shin guards or headgear does not make you a professional fighter. And when I see people sometimes coming in or talking to me or we'll see people claiming this in other places is that, oh, I'm a professional fighter over here, or over there. But then they come back here and they take amateur fights. For those of you that don't know how becoming a professional fighter works, especially over here, or most places, is that once you're a professional kickboxer, you're a professional boxer, you're a professional MMA fighter. There's no, there's no being pro in one and doing an amateur fight in another. That's not how it works, okay? If you're a professional boxer and you decide to try your hand at MMA, guess what? You're a professional MMA fighter. You can't go back and fight amateurs. That's not how the sport works. And so the issue I have is you have these guys telling people, oh, I'm a professional fighter. I fought pro in Thailand. Oh, what's your record over here? I can't look you up. You're not in the system. I don't see any licenses. Well, that's because they're not professional fighters, okay? We got to get that straight. So it's just, it's insulting to those that are. And it, you know what? Uh, over here, it's not hard to become a professional athlete. Uh, MMA, kickboxing, um, boxing is probably the easiest sport in the world. Easiest co combat sports in general are the easiest sports to become professional in. All right, it might sound crazy because they're some of the, the, the toughest sports, but anybody with five amateur fights now, um, and you don't have to win any of them in most states, can become a professional. Some states you don't need any amateur fights. And even as I've explained in my fight videos, when I first started in Wisconsin, there was no amateur. So if if you wanted to go pro, you just took a fight and got paid and you are now a professional fighter. It's on your record, it's in a database and there's no going back. So again, the reason I bring this up is I've been seeing a lot of posts about it. Just because somebody goes to Thailand and fights does not make them a professional fighter. And if they do want to claim that, they can show the video to the commission back here in the States and get their license and fight professionally if, if there's enough evidence to support it. But you cannot go there, claim to be a professional fighter and come back here and take an amateur fight. And guys are doing that. They're telling their members, they're telling their clients, oh, I'm a professional fighter. Hey, come watch me fight at this amateur event this weekend in boxing or whatever it might be in kickboxing. That's not how this works and it's insulting to everybody that is. So just had to get that off my chest. Um, if you have questions about it or anybody wants to hate on it, feel free to comment. Um, but it is what it is and there's no arguing it. So if you're going to call yourself a pro, you need to st you need to be a pro. There's no going backwards, okay? Um, so just had to get that off my chest.